Graham Alexander's impact at Bradford City has certainly been strong, but he have had a slight wobble of late, but he'll be keen to snap out of. The run of four consecutive wins has been followed by three without victory, following their 1 0 loss at Crimmel on New Year's Day. The first league loss was six weeks. They take on Scotland as well, it's and still very much in the playoffs. Coming up on this side, the level of the court consistency in 2024. against Crawley recently at Bradford, particularly here in any of their last three home meetings. Zerulli with a cross, Orsi with the header! And that is the perfect start for Crawley. The classic equine celebration from Danilo Orsi. Nice through ball, it's a peach of a cross from Cerula. Proper poacher's header, if you like. Right place, right time. Quality lead, 1 0. Beyond yeah, the goal, there's not been a great deal of action in this first half. So the Cook's head comes now to Tyler Smith. Corey Adai made himself big. That's DJ Williams blocking the follow up. Very hopeful long ball, nearly resulted in a Bantam's goal. It's a good stop from the keeper. from Smallwood. Well, he struggled to clear it. Now they smash it forward. Seems now for Orsi, and Sarula's onto it. It's a one-on-one counter-attack, Nick Sarula! <laughs> couldn't quite get the requisite power on the shot, but Bradford were all over the place. And his weaker right foot. It's an easy stop for Lewis. Oh, they lift it clear. Nice control from Platt. The ball put it away by Williams. Rydell stays strong, puts the cross in, but it's floated over the keeper. And Bradford City on the hour mark have their equaliser. A very unlikely goal scorer. Oh, the number three, Liam Reinhold hadn't scored since September 2019. Did he mean it? I'm not too sure. Again, 
struggling to clear the lines. But Rydell's got a taste for it. Monroy came across, couldn't get the clearance. Rydell nearly had a second. Right. Oh, it's a heavy touch. Oliver gets there. And he's been brought down. And the referee, Neil Hare, has given a penalty. And Dion Conroy cannot believe what he's done. It's an awful touch. And Oliver, quick as a flash, gets to it. Gets battered. Cook to step up. Saved by a die. Oh, he can't keep it out. Andy Cook celebrates, but that's surely going to go down as an own goal. Steps up, third powerful strike, and it just ricochets off the keeper. Very, very unfortunate. There's Lawrence McGuire. Chance now for Crawley. It deflects to Campbell. And they do have the equaliser. Bradford City punished for their profligacy in front of goal. Poor clearance from Platt. And there was Adam Campbell to gobble up the rebound. And one by Sarula. There's Campbell. Versus around the corner. Sarula goes down. And Crawley have a penalty. Six minutes into stoppage time and Crawley could snatch this Halliday got the wrong side they've been second best but Crawley could win this Orsi tucks it home and what a three points this could be they've still got some defending to do but late in the day, Crawley take the lead. Cool as you like from 12 yards. Bradford now having to throw everything forward. Williams goes down, no free kick given. Holiday was looking to get on the end of the cross, this is Kelly. Odor's delivery. Crawley can counter again. And this is Kelly. He's got the runner in the form of Lulos. Game over now. Bradford City badly caught out. Eddie Lolos gets his sixth of the season. Orsi's through ball found Kelly, and it's great composure. I think he realised he didn't quite have the pace to go and call himself. Lolos was there in support. Big deflection, or two. Consolation can be got now. Well, not even that. Bradford City must be feeling shell shocked. It's all looking so good for them. Goals from Liam Rydall, and an own goal from Corey Adai, who overturned a 1 0 deficit thanks to Daniel Orsi's first half goal. But Adam Campbell, another one from Orsi, Clyde Lolos, Crawley snatched this.
properly turn it around. Great away day, Bradford 2, Bobby 4.